Okay, here's AP, ma'am. Mr. Tucker with the Mutual Broadcasting. He's ready. This is George Tucker, Associated Press, transmitting Associated Press copy from Nuremberg, Germany, via Mutual. Tucker's 1400 series, Nuremberg, December the 3rd. Lena, L-E-N-I, Reifenstahl, R-E-I-F-E-N-S-T-A-H-L, a faded beauty to whom Goebbels, G-O-E-B-B-E-L-S, once remarked, quote, if you weren't a woman, I would kick you downstairs, unquote, will have her day in court either Friday or Saturday in a dramatic pictorial summary of the United States case which she helped film under pressure from the Nazis. Paragraph. The once stunning actress and producer who starred in, quote, the blue light, unquote, and, quote, S-O-S iceberg, unquote, told interrogation officers that Hitler hounded her from 1933 on to assume charge of the Reich's film industry, but she refused in order to retain her freedom as a creative artist paragraph. Hitler badgered her, she said, inviting her to tea and saying, quote, I have great respect for your knowledge and believe you could accomplish much in the organizational field, unquote, paragraph. Eventually, under pressure, she filmed, quote, the triumph of will, unquote, vivid documentary evidence of the Nazi climb to power. Stop. This film is one of four special sequences that summarize point by point all allegations in the indictment and will be submitted as evidence as the clincher in the courtroom Friday and possibly Saturday. It was this film that Jackson, J-A-C-K-S-O-N, had in mind when he pointed to the defendant's box on opening day and said, quote, these people were so vain they documented themselves on film, unquote, paragraph. The picture reveals von Schirach, V-O-N-S-C-H-I-R-A-C-H, pleading with the Hitler youth to, quote, make Mein Kampf your Bible, and follow its precepts, unquote. It shows Rosenberg, R-O-S-E-N-B-E-R-G, as a restless philosopher decanting the Nazi creed and exhibiting catalogs which itemize his stolen art treasures. Stop. All 20 defendants are pictured in incriminating circumstances. Paragraph. Frau Reifenthal has been living with her husband, a Wehrmacht officer, in a chalet in the French zone since the end of the war. Stop. She said she first realized the film world had boycotted her when she visited the United States in 1938. Paragraph. As to allegations that she was successively Hitler's and Goebbels' mistress, she replied, quote, everywhere I go, I am told I would never have made the grade if I hadn't gone to bed with Goebbels. Stop. I never had any sexual relations with Hitler or Goebbels. Stop. My reputation was made before the world ever heard of either, unquote. She said she finally agreed to film the party Congress at Nuremberg in 1936, when Hitler told her, quote, my cameraman filmed these things as I, the Fuhrer, see them, but I want you to film it as the artist sees it, unquote, paragraph. For all right and fall, said she would not then have undertaken it had she been able to imagine the difficulties 
thrown by jealous party members in her way. Paragraph. Quote, I had the greatest difficulties in finishing it. Stop. It came to regular fights between my cameramen and those of the party. Stop. Some of my cameras were destroyed and several of my employees arrested. Paragraph. Quote, shortly afterwards, I was ordered to appear before Hess, H-E-S-S, -S, who received me as if I were a criminal. Stop. This determined me to complain to Hitler about this treatment. But for weeks, it was impossible to get an audience, unquote. Paragraph. Finally, she was able to present her complaints to Hitler, but only in the presence of Goebbels. Paragraph. Quote. Hitler was furious and promised an investigation, unquote. Frau Reifenthal said. The following day, I was asked to appear before Goebbels, who received me with the following words. Subquote. How dare you complain about my men to the Fuhrer? Stop. If you were not a woman, I would throw you down the staircase. Unsubquote. Unquote. Paragraph. She added, quote, I always was in bad standing with him. Stop. He was cold and forbidding toward me. Stop. I almost hated him. Stop. The only decent man I met in party circles was Dr. Speer, S-P-E-E-R, unquote, paragraph. She never dreamed, she said, that all the suffering she went through in documenting the party congress were one day...